Hola amigos! Today we're going to be talking about Qatar and Mexico. Assalamu alaikum, hola, buenos dias. We've got a brand new mini series where we're going to be celebrating the countries that have made it qualified to the World Cup. First, let me go ahead and take off this uh, FIFA Qatar World Cup mask. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> and uh, we're going to kick this off with Mexico. Now, when people asked me, what's my favorite food? I said Mexican. When I took pictures on social media and I spread and I said, hey, where do you guys think I look like I come from? People said, Mexico. So, of course, I had to get Yesenia, the Yes Master, the person who does never says no because she always says yes. But before she comes on down and shares what are the similarities between the two countries and uh, we have a little bit of a conversation, let's talk about some facts. So, how many Mexicans are here in Qatar? 500. Oh, yes, they're pilots, they're engineers, businessmen, you know, they work in different sectors, but with the World Cup coming up, we're expecting tens of thousands of Mexicans to come in because they are the passionate ones. Passion. 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 Khalifa, sale a tu lal harum. ¿Qué es esto? It's not what you think. This is a Mexican house. ¿De quién es esto? No, it's mío. It's Francisco Jose's. Prove it. I'll prove it. I knew it. Confi in me. Francisco! Passion. 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 So this year the country is celebrating 47 years of diplomatic relations. The Qatari embassy was opened in Mexico City in 2014 and in 2015, that's when Mexico opened up their embassy over here. And if you're looking for it, it's in Oneza. Yes, some people might pronounce it as Oneza. Some of you might want to know where you can get the most delicious, authentic Mexican food. And uh, you want to know, where do the Mexicans chill? Where do they go? We need Yesenia to answer that. Hola! It's Yesenia over here. Hey, Yesenia. Hi. Of course, I couldn't do this without you because it's about Mexico after all. Now, Yesenia is the ambassador for Queens for Scars and she's the leader of the Mexican community, especially leading up to the World Cup. Yes. So Mexico. excited. They got the passion though, right? Yes, of course. we do. <laughs> you got it. All right. So what is the number one restaurant here in Qatar that people need to try? There are so many restaurants that I really like, but I'll say Maya, Viva Mexico. Mm -hmm. Avocado mm -hmm. and bodega negra. Oh, so you just gave us like a spectrum of prices, you know? So you get yes. from like cheap, you know, over yes, to a exactly. little bit expensive. So you have options and uh, for everyone. There's something here for everyone. All right, let's talk about food. Specifically, what I want to talk about is something that's really famous. And you know, in, like in Avengers, they made it really famous. Yes. The shawarma. A beautiful feast. Something that uh, you have to try when you come over here. Yes, definitely. But you guys have something similar to a shawarma. Mm -hmm. What is it? Burrito. Look at but okay, but ours is is longer and thinner. We have longer, thinner, thicker. We have it de depends on what you put inside, but it's the <laughs> same, same. Okay, but size doesn't matter. Yeah. What does matter is the flavor. <laughs> and I think okay, so we have what do we have in ours? In ours, if you have like either meat or chicken. If you have chicken, you've got like garlic mayo. Uh -huh. um, and then if you have meat, you have tahina which is, you know, like sesame type of base, and it's delicious. What's in yours? We can put also chicken or beef, mm -hmm. and whatever you put, you, oh, we always put like beans, rice, sour cream, salsa, spicy salsa, mm -hmm. and guacamole. Guacamole, and then yours is always closed on the top, right? Yes, closed on the top, closed on the bottom. So us, typically, it's open on the top. So you want to see that food, you want to see yeah. it. You want to, you know, have a, have a relationship with what's inside before mm -hmm. you eat it, you know? Yes, for us, it's a surprise. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. So usually there's a cultural exchange and you know people transfer, you know, like trophies or something. I think we need to do the burrito shawarma exchange. Let's start the ceremony. So how long have you been here in Qatar? 
11 years. 11 years? So you're Qatari? Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> half Qatari, half Mexican <laughs> representing in the house. Qatari in my heart. <laughs> but of course, when it comes to the World Cup, I know who you're going to be cheering for. Both. For both? Yes. So I actually nice. apply for tickets for Qatar and Mexico. So you're going to make both matches? What happens if it becomes Qatar versus Mexico? I'm going to make one jersey that is half Qatar, half, half, half Mexico. <laughs> Look at Mexicans, they're so nice. <laughs> Mexicans? They're very nice. Well, Mexicans uh, are famous for the Mexican wave, or La Ola. And this is something that is very famous all around the mm -hmm. world, La, the Mexican wave. But also we sing, we sing a lot. We don't sit, we always sing the whole game. Let's do the world's smallest Mexican wave. You ready? Okay, okay yes. you ready? Okay, who's gonna start it? I you. don't know. I started, okay, ready? Done. Done? <laughs> We just did a world record! Guinness, Guinness World Record! World's smallest Mexican wave! One song that we always sing is Chiquitibona la bim bomba! Chiquitibona la bim bomba! A la bio! A la ba! A la bim bomba! Mexico! Mexico! Ra ra ra! I find Mexicans in Qatar is very similar with the uh, they are very close to their family. They are the hospitality and generosity when you have visitors. That's why I always say to Mexicans, when you come to Qatar for the welcome, you are going to be welcome like you are in Mexico. People are uh, really nice in Qatar and people are very nice in Mexico. When you go to Mexico, you fall in love with Mexico because of Mexicans. It's the same in Qatar. I love Mexicans. I'll do it. But how many languages you guys speak? Because we speak one language, that's Arabic. But of course we have the Qatari dialect. Mm -hmm. We speak Spanish, yep. but we have, I don't know, more than 100 dialects. Wait, 32 cities, 100 dialects? It's just like the indigenous people, they speak different dialects, but these people also speak Spanish. What's, what's your dialect? Can you say, Qatar is a great place, please come on over. And let's see if any Mexican people can tell us where the dialect is from, if there is one. Qatar is a país espectacular. Vengan para la Copa Mundial de 2022, les va a encantar. So in our culture, when you want to say like, welcome, come on down, we say hayakum. Mm -hmm. How do you say that in Mexican? Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos means hayakum. Bienvenidos. Yeah. Okay, Bienvenidos. Uh, how do you say salam? Hola. How do you say, how are you? Shlonik. ¿Cómo estás? How do you say pants? We say pantalón. Pantalón. Oh, okay. So we love to wear sandals. We call sandals na'al. Na'al. What do you guys call it? Chanclas. Chanclas. <laughs> Chancla y muchas veces hasta que entiendas que no debes de prender el aire acondicionado. <laughs> chancla. I don't know why it sounds sounds like a chocolate. Sounds, yes, but it's funny. It's chancla. <laughs> yeah. Almost some chanclas right now. Yeah. <laughs> no te voy a dar chancla ahora, pero si lo vuelves a hacer sí te voy a pegar. So of course here in Qatar to shade ourselves from the sun, of course you can wear a cap, but we also wear ghitras, right? Yeah. And you know just nice and flow and airy. You guys have something else. You've brought some samples over. Sombreros. A sombrero! Look at this. How do I look? You look Mexican. Do I look like a Mexican? Yes. But, but how about like, like white white sombrero with a white thobe? Don't you feel it looks elegant? It looks elegant, yeah. Yeah? Like a charro. Oh, like, what's a charro? Charro is uh, is something very nice. It's like the, the mariachis, okay. they are charros. But charros are the ones that goes in the horses and the horse dance and they are like strong and and manly. So, is this something that you guys always wear, like normally, like? No. No. Only charros. Okay. And there are different hats. We have so many st styles of hats in Mexico. We have this hat, like Speedy Gonzalez hat. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> arriba, arriba. Arriba, arriba. Usually, when I see big Americans or tourists in Mexico wearing hats, because hats is such something that when you go to Mexico, everyone buy mm. a, a sombrero. They wear the this part to the front, mm. like the high part, it looks like this. <laughs> this part goes to the back, like this. <sighs> Only this one, you can, this, it goes up. Like for example, because it has the Viva Mexico, mm. so you wear it like this. But even then it's like, oh, it's like double up. Like yeah, so this over. one goes all the way, all around now. All right, to talk a little bit more about Mexico, I hand everything over to you, Zenia. Thank you. Okay, so before I get started, Ta-da! Guys, for everyone coming to the World Cup here in Qatar, Qatar is the safest country in the world. So for all my Mexican friends, here you're going to be very safe. In Mexico, we use the public transportation 
every single day. We have metro buses and everything else. Here in Qatar, we have a brand new metro, buses, taxis, Ubers, everything you need and it's so affordable. Another thing that I love here in Qatar are the traditions and festivities and events. In Mexico, we have the Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos, that is a big celebration well known all around the world. And here in Qatar, they have Garangao, that is a festivity for children during Ramadan. Mexico celebrates Dia de los Muertos with Pan de Muerto, it's a Mexican sweet bread and candies. And Garangao, they celebrate with candies. Okay, let's welcome back Mr. Thank you. I really wanted to say thank you so much, you know, for you to come on over and to be a part of the special episode. Thank and uh, I think it's time for you to uh, take the Qatari jersey. Oh, you got a Mexican yes! jersey as well. <laughs> so I think it's time for us to do another exchange ceremony. Yes. I don't know why we do this. <laughs> I don't know why we do this, but it feels like it's what we should do. Yes. <laughs> yes! Thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, appreciate your time. Now, how can people follow you? They can follow me on my Instagram, Jessina Navarro, or my TikTok is also is Jesse Navarro, and everything, all social media accounts are Jessina Navarro. And we're gonna put information down in the description so you can go and check that out. Guys, if you like this episode, please don't forget to give us a like. What's like it in that Mexican? Me gusta. And don't forget to give us a share. Compartir. And uh, you see that bell over there? What's a bell? Campana. Give it a little ring. Ding dong. Ding dong.